This video is for nerdy therapists. Or just nerdy people, I guess. Or, I, I don't know, just anyone that wants to listen. I'll take anyone. <laughs> so seriously though, um, this, this video is about the difference between extinction and memory reconsolidation. Unfortunately, people don't know enough about memory reconsolidation and they loop it in and think it's the same as extinction and it's not, it's different. So let's talk about it. If you're a therapist, you're going to want to know these different mechanisms of change. If you're just interested in psychology, you might want to know about the different mechanisms of change. So um, some change occurs when past memories are changed or healed. So let's take EMDR. Uh, EMDR goes back to past memory, bilateral stimulation, uh, reduces the subjective unit of distress. So essentially how this is working, aside from the intervention itself, but what's happening with your neurons is neural circuits are activated, synapses are activated, and after about five hours, it reconsolidates. This happens every time you remember something. So when you remember something, you're actually remembering the last time you remembered it. Interesting, right? So this has some sort of uh, use for therapy. We activate a memory, we have some sort of intervention, EMDR, it interferes with this memory reconsolidation. There's other ways to interfere with it, propranolol, uh, there's studies on that. It's very, very interesting. Uh, mismatch, parts of memory therapy, there's a lot, a lot of ways to do it, but EMDR, that's what it does. It edits the memory, our goal is to uh, affect the implicit memory, not so much the explicit, but the memory reconsolidates. Uh, so any sort of past emotional learning, fight or flight response, something that was traumatic, no longer traumatic, we remove a trigger and something's no longer triggering. So change occurs by editing the past memory, taking the emotions out. This is different than CBT. This is different than new learning. So simplifying things, there's unlearning and then there's new learning to counterbalance. So new learning, positive affirmations, exposure therapy, learning, oh, it is safe. It is safe right now. I am okay. This is okay. That sort of thing. Um, biologically, what's happening is different. We have unlearning and then new learning. That's an oversimplification, yes, but it's a way to conceptualize what is happening. Um, in one situation where someone has this public speaking event and there's some sort of uh, fallout and it's just an embarrassing thing and now they think about public speaking and now there's a phobia because of this event. Yeah, EMDR might be really good for that, but there might be another situation where someone has never done public speaking and they have anxiety about it because they haven't learned that it's okay, in which case cognitive behavioral therapy would be a better fit. Um, so both have their places and knowing kind of the source of the symptom and where things are can help you with your patient. One is bottom up processing, the other is top down. These are some of the uh, simple differences between memory reconsolidation and extinction. Hopefully that is helpful. Uh, both lead to desensitization um, and that's our goal. So thank you for your time.